so first of all one needs to be very determined in their uh, decision because in obs gyni as such it's since it's an end branch most of the people around us are happy so there are very less people around us who are actually preparing but those who are preparing they are like the best in the market it's a very difficult competition amongst the people appearing for neat ss or ini ss from obg group when i started my preparation as i had already mentioned that was the only coaching institute for gyne onko in the market feed has been instrumental and obviously any preparation without a guidance won't land up anywhere in this tough competition one definitely needs a guidance how to begin the preparation how to go through the preparation and mcqs since there are not enough question banks in the market so i would definitely like to thank speed so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr shalup priya for scoring a topmost rank of cml rank number 6 and aml rank number 9 in mch kaina oncology group and uh, best wishes to you and congratulations thank you so much sir great now can we know a detailed uh, brief history of where you started uh, your medical career till date what all you have done so i have done my mbbs from indira gandhi institute of medical sciences igims patna then i did my ms in obs and gyne from calcutta national medical college kolkata in 2021 i passed out my ms then i did my sr ship and once i left my catered my whole time just for preparing for neat ss examination very good doctor can you share some of your preparation strategy what all you did how much of time you spent and how did you prepare to achieve this topmost rank sure sir so to begin with during my pg ship i made sure to cover the basic books at least so for obstetrics i almost finished williams during my pg ship and for gynae i did novac for few of the endocrine topics i referred to spiroff so the basic books i was almost done with during my pg ship for the last entrance exam that i appeared i had scored a rank of 153 in neat ss and ini rank 8 that time there were three seats for gyne onco so i could not make it last year so i thought i need to change my preparation strategy so for ini specifically i finished whole of berek and hacker which is very important for ini ss and i also referred to figo updates uh, from word to word that is very important for cracking ini and speed was instrumental in my preparation from day one from the last two years i have been attached with speed so the, since there are not many institutes in the market for gyne onco preparation and speed was the only one when i started preparing so speed has always been my partner in my preparation great doctor wonderful now uh, can you tell us how many questions were you able to attend this exam so for ini i had mm. attempted 77 questions and no. based on my score i think i i did 20 mistakes i think okay can you tell us what are the proportionate of questions in this 80 how much of general how much of reproductive or how much of gynec onco or it's gynec onco and only general uh, obg how was the distribution so for ini they ask separate question means they have two different uh, quest set of question paper for reproductive medicine and for gynec onco so i appeared in gynec onco so there were most of the questions i think almost 80% are from gynec oncology the rest 20% can be divided 10% into the statistics part and the other 10% are general obs and gynec question okay very good doctor now why uh, mch gynec onco I mean because usually people take ms obg that's a specialty and to start the practice after that now your interest when it started then uh, I mean why special interest towards gynec onco so there are a lot of reasons for that <laughs> from the, my pg mm-hmm. days on i had it in the back of my mind that i want to specialize in oncology especially uh, like in west bengal there are loads of cases there are lots of patient which we catered to and uh, only this part 
was the untouched part from our institute as such because there was not a very proper setup for onco we did see uh, many cases but not uh, like onco as a core branch in our institute so those patients whom we had to refer i felt very bad at that time that we are referring the, these patients when we are catering other patients like as was a tertiary institute we did not have the uh, we did, could not refer them back to any other institute we had to accept all the patient there was no re refusal policy at our institute so we had to cater to all the patients but only these advanced cases of onco these were the section of patients which we couldn't cater so we had to refer them back so i used to feel very bad that when we can see so many patients when we can treat so many patients why not these patients as such so that was a lacking part in uh, so i wanted to do something in that moreover sir uh, a very close contact i had with uh, gynae onco was last year just after our examinations my mother got diagnosed with ovarian cancer oh. uh, that was advanced stage so i thought like it's a symbol from god that uh, gynae onco is something that i need to uh, make as my career so since then i was like 100% sure that i had to get into gynae onco at the earliest as possible the earlier dream was just mine but from last year it's like the dream of the whole family and my parents as such that i should do gynae onco Great doctor, and uh, and really sorry to know that your mother suffered from. Yeah, sir. but by God's grace and her own strength, uh, she is in a very good health now. Very good. Convey our regards to her and good yeah, health sir. to her. Yeah, sir. And uh, what is the message that you want to give to people who want to prepare for MCG in a Congo as a superficiality? Uh, so first of all one needs to be very determined in their uh, decision because in obs gynae as such it's since it's an end branch most of the people around us are happy with which obviously it's a very satisfying branch as such so there are very less people around us who are actually preparing but those who are preparing they are like the best in the market it's a very difficult competition amongst the people appearing for neat ss or inis from obg group and since now the pattern has changed of neat ss so now there are two different pattern of neat ss and inis so sometimes it's difficult to get means uh, prepare for both the different type of exam at the same time for those who are just targeting inis i would say that we have to stick to berek and hacker and the figo updates and obviously the latest updates but these two are a must do you can't think of cracking ini without touching these two topic that's just impossible so that is it and for uh, if someone is preparing for neat then obviously we have to pay attention to general obs gynae these um, nowadays the pattern was same for both the exams so it was easy type of preparation one could crack either of the exam the pattern has changed so we have to change ourselves according to that only very true now time to thank whom all you want to thank they helped you to reach this level now you can use the opportunity to do so so first of all i would definitely like to thank speed when i started my preparation as i had already mentioned that was the only coaching institute for gynae onco in the market so speed has been instrumental and obviously any preparation without a guidance won't land up anywhere in this tough competition so one definitely needs a guidance how to begin the preparation how to go through the preparation and mcqs since there are not enough question banks in the market so for mcq uh, i just relied on speed i would say and i tried to touch as many videos as many questions as possible so that is one thing and uh, in the last few months i think uh, revti ma'am conducted the revision videos that was very awesome I mean that kept us encouraged who would answer first uh, whose answer is correct and uh, that was a quick revision of a lot of topics so that was uh, very helpful for me personally so i would definitely like to thank speed and moreover the other people of speed who helped us any kind of technical issues were there i used to message and they used to address the problem in within half an hour that was the maximum time they took so that is very good uh, from means from the speed uh, as whole i am very thankful to all of them then i would like to definitely thank my parents 
my whole family my in-laws for being so supportive of me for not pressurizing me in any kind like i'm married 2 years ago so i didn't have any kind of family pressure they were just everyone in my family was so supportive of me to just focus on my studies and my career my husband sir he has been through all thick and thin even he was preparing for ss and he had qualified for gi surgery this time in madras medical college thank so, you sir so sir these are the people and obviously my teachers during my pg ship and my colleague dr saba everyone sir i'm thankful to each and every people who somehow or the other has touched and influenced my decision of pursuing i am on course congratulations to you, dr once again to have a great career ahead uh, in mcs gynec oncology and so that I mean your wish and your family wish and also you will go to serve the community at large and definitely many patients will be benefited out of your services for the advanced wishes and congratulations thank you so much sir thank you sir thank you.